it can be so tempting to judge a whole season based on whether you ran a PB or not. In our minds, a PB, a personal best, equals a good season. And if we didn't run a personal best, oftentimes we're like, oh, this season was rubbish, it didn't go well. But evaluating your whole season on a personal best alone isn't the only way, or the most effective way even, to assess your season. So in this video, I wanna give you seven questions that you can ask yourself as an athlete to help you self-evaluate your season, to help you assess your progress, and to help give you a base for the next season so let's get into it hi guys and welcome back to fit with tea so hope you guys are good today i'm giving you seven questions that you can ask yourself as an athlete audit if you're interested in self-evaluating your season then keep watching so as a gift for you guys and to help you actually answer these questions i've created an athlete audit so look in the link in the description box below it's a free pdf that you can download where you can actually answer these questions for yourself it's just a nice little layout in a nice format it's a pdf so you can write onto the pdf it's very simple to write on a pdf guys all you have to do is if you have Adobe Acrobat, you just need to select sign and fill and you can actually enter text that way as well. The alternative is to print the sheet off and then write your answers by hand. And alternatively, again, if you need an athlete training diary, I've got two that so you can try either one of these and write your answer to these questions in the notes section. So that's all the ways that you can do it. Well, there's more. <laughs> Those are three ways that you can answer these questions or you can answer them verbally, but I really recommend writing it down so that you can actually compare your answers at this same point next season and see was there any changes have i grown have i progressed even more so i really believe these questions will be helpful for you guys so let's get into the first question so the first question that i recommend you ask yourself is what was my average of my top five performances this season now why do we want to take an average of our performance as opposed to just a personal best sometimes our personal best doesn't give us a full picture of the whole season sometimes our personal best can be an anomaly to be honest with you as much as we love running the personal best you know that time when you've been working through the season and it finally clicked and you run a personal best sometimes it doesn't show you how good that season was or how consistent you've been that season or how inconsistent you've been in that season either to be honest with you sometimes a personal best can actually mask inconsistencies and so by taking your top five performances you get a better picture you get an average even me personally i've shared this in a blog before how the year that i ran my personal best is actually not my most consistent season it was not even actually the season where i if i took an average of my top five performances it wasn't actually the best season that i had when i took an average and so if you're not sure how to do an average all you have to do is Go on to Power of 10 or your home country, wherever you find your rankings or your performances for the season. Put them in order of time or distance or whatever event that you do. Take the top five. Then what you want to do is add those five numbers together and then divide it by five. And then whatever you have as the answer is the average of your top five performances. And then you can compare. When I compare the average of my performances against other seasons, where does this season actually lie? Is it my best season so far? Is it my second best season on average? Is it my third best season on average? And so it gives you a much broader picture, a much better picture to actually work with. So that's the first question. What was the average of my top five performances this season? Remember this is self-reflection, so you're asking this to yourself. And I guess then you can see where this season ranked on average when you look at your average performance. Okay, so question number two, what part of my race of my jump or of my throw depending on what event you do i'm a sprinter so it's naturally going to come out that i'm going to say race but which part of my race was my strongest this season so you might substitute that and say which part of my jump was my strongest which part of my throw was my strongest so ask yourself this question which part of your event which particular part of your event and why was it your start was it your acceleration your top end speed or the finish of the race you can be as specific as you want and again this is going to really help you to evaluate your performance and compare it again when you come and look at this again next year you can be like was the same part the strongest or did i improve you can see so this is the second question that i recommend that you ask yourself so question three is the opposite which part of my race jump throw was my weakest and why I think this is a great question and I hope that this helps you guys to productively and constructively criticize yourself to see how you can improve. So that's the third question I recommend. Which part of my race, jump or throw was my weakest and why? So question number four, off the back of that question, now that you've identified what your weakest part of your event was, now you can ask yourself, 
what element of my fitness do I need to improve in order to improve my weakest part of my race, jump or throw? So what part of your fitness, whether that's health related, so is that endurance, is that muscular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility, it might be one of those, or it could be skill related, it might be your speed, your power, it might be your balance, it might be your coordination. If you haven't checked out my video about the six components of skill related fitness, check that out. I've also got one about health related fitness, which outlines the health related components of fitness to be if you're not sure what those are. So take some time to answer that, take some time to reflect, maybe talk to your coach if you need to do that as well. But these seven questions, like I said, are an athlete order, a self evaluation question, to help you take responsibility as an athlete and be more involved in your own progress and performance when you sit and compare with your coach and you have that meeting are you in the same place have they identified the same things as you do you have anything to add to that take a bit of control of your own career your own athletic so hopefully these questions are helping you guys to do that okay so question five is a mental question and this time you're asking yourself how did i handle pressure this season in competition what did I do to handle my nerves? You know, what were some of the tips and tricks that you did, the routines that you implemented that helped you to handle your nerves, that helped you to perform under pressure? Did you listen to music? Did you have a certain, you know, routine that you did as you went into the blocks or before you, you know, hit the runway? Was there something specific that you did that helped you to feel relaxed? Or alternatively, if you didn't handle the pressure well, what could you do next season or what could you implement next season that you think going to help you to handle that pressure to deal with the mental side of competition especially what are you going to do differently next season so while you're here guys if you are enjoying this and it's benefiting you please leave me a comment below so i know which of these questions so far are the most beneficial or are you finding are helping you reflect the best and if you're not subscribed subscribe and join the tribe so that you don't miss any more videos when i do upload them and make sure to hit the bell as well but let's get into question number six. So question six is a lifestyle question. Ask yourself this, with regards to my lifestyle, is there any areas that hindered my progress this season? And what can I do to change that? So when we're talking about lifestyle, that's talking about sleep, were you staying up on social media too long? Were you watching movies late into the night, which meant that you were always tired, you went to work tired, went to school tired, then went to training tired, which negatively affected your training, which also negatively affected your competitions? Or was your punctuality really bad? Were you late for races, you didn't get full warm up and then end up getting injured? That might be something that you wanna improve. When it comes to your social, your family time, did that negatively affect your performance? Were you going out too much? Or did it positively affect your performance? Nutrition, nutrition plays a massive part with regards to performance. How can you improve your nutrition? Did it negatively affect you? Did you implement something new this season that actually positively affected you? You can write that down alternatively as well. And then you've got your work or your education or whatever it is that you do. Did that negatively affect your performance? And if it did, what would you need to do? Do you need to reduce your hours? I don't know. So if there wasn't any areas that were negative, then maybe you can flip the question and just write down, no, all the areas were great and they were positive and this is how they benefited my performance. So the question is, were there any areas of my lifestyle that negatively affect my performance this season and if so what can I do to improve or adapt them so that they actually become a positive influence rather than negative and so question number seven the last question that I have for you guys is simply am I still enjoying the sport I think this question is so important if you're not enjoying it why do it I say this all the time but if you're not enjoying it anymore why are you doing it why put yourself through all that winter training through the snow you know you lot might not live in England <laughs> you know you might not live in the UK and you might have summer all around you're blessed <laughs> but basically you know we put ourselves through so much as athletes you know through the hard time continuing to persevere and so if you're not ultimately enjoying it why are you doing it so the last question that I have on this athlete audit for you guys is simply am I still enjoying the sport and why why do i enjoy athletics why am i doing athletics that is a really important question and i really think that taking time to answer that will help you know your why i do actually have a video about how to stay motivated with your training if you haven't checked out that video i do recommend that video as well because one of the things i say is reassess your why and so answering the question am i still enjoying the sport and why will help you be motivated and feel motivated as you go into winter training once again and hopefully implement new changes that are going to help you to improve progress and achieve your 
goals so guys i really hope these seven questions are useful for you let me know in the comment section below like i said if it was because obviously you guys are watching this after i record it i don't know unless you let me know let me know if this was useful and if you like the video guys please give it a big thumbs up to help me accelerate my channel and if you still want some tips on how to stay motivated with your training make sure to check out this video and i'll see you guys next friday